Now we all know that there's a double standard out there. A lot of people think this, that men can get away with being aggressive in a way that women simply can't without being called the you know what word. Does it rhyme with which? Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> well, our guest today is here to teach us how, as women, we can communicate more effectively without being called a B word. There you go. And we'd like to welcome Mich Michelle Villalobos. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so we're trying not to say the word, as you can tell. I know. It's I a morning tell. show. <laughs> but I think everybody knows exactly where we're going with this. Yes. Now, you are a success skills trainer. Tell us exactly what you do. I teach women, or I help women become more uh, successful by teaching them how to market, sell, and communicate more effectively. Okay. Now, this is the big issue here. I mean, this is what we're talking about. As women, we're both professional women. A lot of people who are watching, you know, head out into the workforce. We just can't get away with the same style of communicating that men can get away with. What can we do? Well, it's a real problem because what happens is, on the one hand, we have being aggressive, mm -hmm. and on the other hand, we have being passive. Now, being passive doesn't work in business because it doesn't get stuff done but being aggressive can alienate other people so there's this kind of middle ground that people call assertive but even when women are being assertive they can be perceived as aggressive God, that, that happens to both of us I think yes right we're both opinionated yeah and aggressive <laughs> and a little bit of a witch sometimes too. <laughs> I'm not admitting to that <laughs> Well, it happens also that, so what happens is we, we go into the world and we're working and we're so afraid of being perceived that way that sometimes we keep things inside, we bottle things up, we don't talk about things, we're not as honest and open and authentic as we could be or should be. And then what happens is then we can get resentful, then we've got things called like passive aggressive behavior, you can blow up at work and then you really are a, you know what. Mm -hmm. So is that what's really happening? Is that why women aren't communicating well? Because we're trying to be more passive than That's we really are? That's part of it. That's part of it. So for example, one of the things that women do is they use hedging language. Have you ever noticed that women, for example, when they're about to express an opinion, they'll say, well, I'm probably wrong, but, or maybe this isn't right, or I'm really sorry, but, and they, uh, they kind of uh. qualify what they're going to say before they say it. And that's really bad, especially when you're dealing with men. Interesting. Men so they kind of do seriously. a little soft thing first, and then mm. uh -huh. and then they come in with their opinion, but they've just belittled their opinion. They've just made it less valuable. Exactly. I, I got to tell you, you're not describing Beth and myself. I have to be so honest with you. But for someone out there that would like some tips in terms of maybe communicating better mm -hmm. and not sounding too much like a right. What they're afraid what, of being. Right, right. What tips do you have? Well, first, in order to communicate more effectively, more powerfully, let's say, one thing that, that women need to do is they need to speak up and they need to be seen and they need to be heard. The problem is sometimes when women speak up, we do something that men can't stand, and even other women too, we babble. We can go on and on, and the word and, and, and. So one thing is to speak up, but know when to shut up. Okay. Okay, another thing is don't apologize so much. Mm. A lot of times we'll apologize for things that aren't even our fault. And I don't know why we do it, but I, I don't know. Do you do it? I, I find myself sometimes saying I'm sorry for things that I wasn't even involved with. It's like being a peacemaker or something, wanting everyone to get along. Yes. Trying to get relationships. I think it's guilt, too. Yeah. Just, yeah. Somebody jumps, bumps into you and you're like, I'm sorry. I didn't do anything. Yeah, they bumped into me. <laughs> <laughs> it happens all the time. So stop apologizing. And then the other thing is you want to avoid passive-aggressive behavior. Now, passive-aggressive behavior, think about it. it Men don't do it, ever. Passive aggressive is a way of being aggressive without being overt, and it's terrible. It doesn't work well. It's like rolling your eyes is passive aggressive. A big one that women do is they smile while they're delivering bad information. Oh. When they're like, like that's a southern trait too. Is I will it? say yes. Women in the South do that well. Well, that's not good. <laughs> it's not good for business because what happens is it makes what you're saying completely at odds with what you're showing. showing. Interesting. So that's another one. So there's so, those are some ways you know you can what do I, that. I do that a lot. I do say bad. I give bad news to people with, with a smile. With a smile. Ooh. Oh, you are so bad at your job. <laughs> you know that's. <laughs> It's, it's sarcastic and it's yeah. ironic and men don't do it. If you think about it, very seldom will you see a man being passive aggressive. Why? Do you, can you, I mean, think about it. Men don't have to be passive aggressive. Mm. They can be aggressive. They're being aggressive. This has been That's really it. interesting. This is really fascinating. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. This has been actually a lot of fun because we're, we're understanding things about ourselves. This, mm -hmm. is, this is one of these conversations that we're going to keep on talking about oh, after sure. the cameras are off. Yeah. <laughs> I've got five more things that we can talk about after. Commercial break. Here we come. Now, if you would like more information on some of Michelle's tips and her workshops, all you have to do is visit her website, michellevillalobos.com.